Welcome to Embedded Systems. Today we're going to talk about hosting code and Canvas and the right way, the proper way to do that. So, when you're submitting code, so let's say for Lab 2, you have the HTML editor. This is actually the rich text editor that you can go into the uh, HTML editor and add an HTML code. Otherwise, you need the rich text editor. If you are copying from this is an example from lab 2. You're copying code into the Rich Text Editor. It does a decent job posting it. It'll post everything, but it takes away from our doing on IDE, it takes away all the tabs. So when I submit this as code, it's just not going to have all the tabbing. It's not going to look as pretty. Let's say you're copying code from a form I.O. You want to paste it into the rich content editor. You submit that. It's a little better. It's got some of the tappings, or, but it's still, it's okay. That's better. It maintains some of the tappings and some of the pre-formatting that you get in platform I.O. Other way to, the other ways to do it is if you go to the HTML editor and copy in a pre-formatted block and a code block, place your code in, in the HTML block window, and you can take that block of code from the Arduino IDE Paste that in. In between the code block and the preformatted block, you go back to the rich text editor and it actually shows your code a little bit how it's going to look once it's posted. Notice anything with the angle brackets like name and date. Uh, more angle brackets here and the doc. And it include how they include with the Arduino IDE. All those are gone. But you can always just copy those lines and code back in. And it's just one line of code for the Arduino IDE. Their name should not be an input too. Anyway. But if you snip this quiz, it's going to actually put all your code with the tabbings, all the formatting that you had from before in a nice code block. It looks a lot nicer. Same if you go to platform IO, copy in that uh, pre-formatted block and the code block, and we go copy the code in platform IO, paste it in, and all this I didn't do it in the right spot. You need to make sure we did that in the HTML editor, otherwise it's going to really mess it up. If we HTML editor, copy in that block of code. Paste it, and I can look, and this is what it's going to look like. Got all your Formatting, still lost that one pound and clear line, which is not a big, big deal. Once you publish, submit this, this is what it's going to look like. Let's say you go into the rich, you just go into the HTML editor and you only put in, let's say, a code block without reformatting, and then you paste in code in the Arduino IDE, it's going to take out all of your furniture trains and you're going to publish a block of code. And I can't read this. and. TAs can't read this and they can't read it. So if you submit this code in your quiz, you're going to lose points because this is very 
difficult to read. Make sure you look at it if you're typing it into the HTML editor over here. Make sure you look at it in the rich content editor. You can actually embed chunks of code and then embed images in there. And make sure it looks good once you submit the tutorials as well.